and here he goes. He has to go long and he starts to turn it on right now. Now the race has got power. If he gets up alongside him, he'll drop in front of him and try and just squash this to bits. And guess what? There you go. Multiple world champion and indeed multiple winner. Whenever it pleases him, it seems. And it pleases him very much. The Brazen takes it. Great ride by your complex throughout this evening. This is hyper early. Now, Le Brazen may well have been fatigued out of this. Let's wait and see. It's a lot of rush on. I think he's too far back. I think he's too far back. Here's the 200. Here goes Nicholas Paul. It will take a very big man to beat him at a moment such as this. The crowd know this as well. Here comes Harry Le Brazen. A lot tighter than anyone thought. Nicholas Paul could hold him. Oh, Le Brazen comes through at the very last. But that was wonderful. Wonderful sprinting here at the last. That really was wonderful. I love that Nicholas Paul went early like that. Really took the race to Harry LeFraisen, made him work ever so hard there. But you cannot deny Harry LeFraisen is such a worthy winner. And LeFraisen is going for a big response again from uh, Vasilius Lindau. He's pouring it on. LeFraisen's not going to let him get away with this, is he? Has he gone too early? That's the big question. Here's the final lap. Bell announces it. And it's time to get very, very busy. And my man is here. Stefan Bollinger is up on the blue line, wrestling in with Hulan at the moment. It's the Razor out front. Who's going to get there? Oh, it's the Razor ahead of Hulan and Bottinger. You're one, two, three. The cream clearly rises to the top here. Yeah, what a tight final there. So Lendella Lithuania gave the crowd a lot to cheer for. He was going really well and made a big move early on. I, do you know what? I've got a feeling we might well be on for something here, as in uh, surprise. Let's wait and see. LeFraisen's using all of the track. He's not afraid of extra meterage by the looks of things. But here's the response from Bottiger. Now he's coming up, but he's not quite on his hip just yet. This is going to be tighter than anyone thinks. Here we go. Oh, he gets there. He gets there. Wow, if you wanted the drama, it was at the very last that LeFraisen took it. But Bottiger put up such a battle there. We're coming into our final lap right now, and LeBrazen has an advantage, but some rush room here for Bottiger. Can he make it count? He's in that aero pocket right now, and he comes out into the wind at the very last. Two, three, through four. Can he get down the line? No! It's LeBrazen that takes it and is our worthy champion. Brilliant. Well, the crowd loved that as much as we did. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And he did exactly what we expected him to do. Out of the saddle in the back straight, just getting out that little bit of extra power, putting the power down and being able to, to staple in that he is still the fastest man. Harry Lebrayson 